so excited to be making an album. I feel, I also feel so good to be raising a little money for Planned Parenthood. So I really. <laughs> I feel very fortunate that I have like a platform to be able to do something, you know what I mean? Because this is just such a, a terrible time for women. It's really, it's the, the whole thing is just disgusting. And it's outside of all of that, it's just not how I was raised, okay? It's one, rude, okay? Two, <laughs> the big sex talk I got growing up was from my father. I was 11, we were in the car, very strategic, no eye contact, I love that, okay? <laughs> And it kind of came out of nowhere, right? We were just driving along and he just goes, so you know, if you ever get pregnant, I'll have you in that clinic so fast, <laughs> you won't know you were pregnant to begin with. <laughs> Tell your sister. I don't want to have this conversation twice. And I was like, Nora's eight. But I got home and I was like, Nora, get out your Barbies. I got a story to tell, you know? <laughs> rules are rules. <laughs> I, feel, I feel very fortunate. I grew up in a, in a in a pretty sex positive family and I hope that that's coming across that my parents were cool with it, not that we were all having sex, right? Like I hope that that's <laughs> reading. Uh, and I, when I look back, I think that it was the way that it was because uh, my family's just pretty gay. Like statistically, it's how we come out, right? It's about one out of three of us. Those are our stats, that's what our team looks like, that's what we're showing up with, okay? <laughs> and that's on both sides. So growing up, my parents were so concerned, not that I would be gay, but that I would be gay and somehow feel the need to be closeted, that I would be ashamed of who I was, that they went above and beyond to make our home a safe place, but at a very early age, right? <laughs> so I'm watching cartoons with my sister and my father would come through and he'd be like, I'm going to Home Depot, does anybody want to come? <laughs> and just make so much eye contact with me. And I was like, I don't know, I'm getting pretty strong. I guess I could start building stuff, you know? Like, I don't... <laughs> or my mother would be like, Okie doke, good night. You're a little angel. Hey, you know, if you're gay, you just our gay little angel. <laughs> Shuts the door and I'm in bed and I'm like, I don't know, like, am I a gay angel? Like, do I need tools, you know? Like, I... <laughs> didn't know it's not where I was at right is that where I was at personally was in a hard plastic scoliosis back brace okay <laughs> not a punchline guys <laughs> and it was a very beautiful shade of purple okay and I had it was it was nice and I had uh, knives hidden all around my room so that if intruders broke in I could just pop out of bed, have all my major organs protected, grab a knife and defend my family. You understand? Like that's where I was at. Just more of like a virgin vigilante. Mm -hmm.